Me and my friend Jason are real estate agents, and today we wanted to head to Kirkland, Washington to give you an inside look at what goes on downtown. Oh, I love that smell. You smell that? What is that it? That water? Yeah, smell it. Does it smell fresh? Was it smell yeah, like? Yeah, like a little salty. Salty, Aaron, this is the lake. Well, what the fuck am I smelling then? I have no idea, man. With joy in our hearts and curiosity in our eyes, we set off to start our tour of Kirkland until we were stopped by two suspicious girls. Right, do you guys live around here? No. Where are you guys from? Uh, Linwood. Linwood. Or, sorry, Arlington. They lied to me. These two girls have become the sole reason why I do not trust women anymore. What brings you girls to downtown Kirkland? Um, the metaphysical shop over here, the rock store. Witches. We've run into witches. Quite the coincidence, as earlier we realized Jason's house was haunted. Do you want to give me a tour of what's on your shelf? I have my Icon Award from EXP, and then I have this picture of my family before the baby. For whatever reason, I know it's not a ghost, but it always creeps more and more this way. If I set it like this, it'll be like that tomorrow. Are you serious? I swear, yeah, I swear to God. Are you saying that this place is haunted? No, man, I, I, I... This place was haunted. We were going to ask these witches for help until they pulled out their weapons. I okay, yeah, show off one. your stones, guys. I have this one. What is this? This is a Aura Angel Quartz. What's it do? Well... <laughs> These girls were dangerous, but luckily they were new to witchcraft, so we were able to get away. Those girls were literally traveling for rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid girls, there's rocks everywhere. Wow, after that heart-pounding encounter, Jason and I decided to stop by a popular macaroon shop, but little did we know we'd be leaving the store in financial ruin. Just the two? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's just five. Like, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Do you think five dollars is kind of outrageous for two macaroons? You can't survive downtown Kirkland with anything less. Let's show them our loot. Okay, so this is, I don't even remember what it was. Oh my God, these are so good. Dude, this is so good. Wow, this is really good. I'm a huge fan. Now, now what do you think? Is the price outrageous or? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> After being robbed in a macaroon shop, I spotted a clothing store and decided to do Jason a favor. We're trying to upgrade our wardrobe, yeah. and we were wondering if you could help us um, pick something out for this guy. Let's say he's meeting with a client, fairly younger woman who he is attracted to, and would like to show her a few homes, but then eventually ask her out. What is your go-to here? Without a word, this man knew precisely where to take us. Now, if you were um, a fairly attractive young girl, legal of age, of course, um, and he was showing you a house and he was wearing that, what would your reaction be? You know, it's a great shirt. This man's professionalism was admirable, and I started to look up to him as a father figure. It doesn't look like it's non-ironed, though. I would have to iron it or steam it. If you were in the dating scene, and you were that girl we were talking about, would you want the guy to have wrinkles in his shirt? Are we recording here, or what is... Yeah. Yeah. I didn't expect to be asked such a stupid question, because obviously I was recording. I can't help but take back everything good I've said so far. Well, do you work out? Yeah, we work out together here. That's good. It actually isn't a bad shirt. I'll show some, uh, like a pose. Realtor pose? Yeah, classic. Mm hmm Arch the back. Look at that hair, dude. Doesn't that look like it's uh, on purpose? That hair looks like when Tobey Maguire became evil on Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Us two grown men were about to leave the changing room, but Jason decided to start making fun of me. <laughs> what kind of shoes are those? Jason, these are Yeezys. What's your, what's your shoe size? 10. Try these on. <sighs> Put these on. Mm, yours feels a little wet, like you've been sweating in them. Aaron, I can't believe I fit in these. Where are these, nine and a half? Mm -hmm. Nine and a half? What do you mean you can't believe you've fitted in my shoes? What are you implying? That you're Asian and have small feet? Everybody knows that. Can't believe you're gonna get canceled on your first episode. <laughs> Jason's sweat-soaked shoes and trauma-inducing racism was quickly forgotten as we couldn't stop thinking about our paranormal issues back home. So we decided to go to a nearby store the witches told us about. Maybe they could help. What, what crystals or gems would you recommend for him throughout his struggles in life? Is there any for like success or anything? There are. Really? Yeah. This is the whole kit for prosperity, manifestation, luck, abundance. Jason and I were too smart to be sold on snake oil, but the power of these crystals intrigued me. I think we should harness the power of these stones for our benefit. I'm about to buy this whole kit. Do you believe in ghosts? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to, um, like how to get rid of a ghost? The clear quartz you could program to be protective. 
I would probably start with sage to do a cleansing. Cool. <laughs> this could save your family's life. <laughs> so sage and quartz can help us get rid of our ghost problem. But turns out the quartz costs four thousand dollars. It's four thousand dollars. Wow. Jason, can you can you give me a quartz? Yeah. The quartz was acquired, but we still had many questions. What does the quartz do? Quartz is a good energy amplifier. It's also programmable, so you can put any intention into it. Whoa. Wait, what? Make it too. And then it'll do that. After spending $40 on rocks, we went to the store for sage and returned home. Our intention is to get rid of this ghost that's haunting my office. Yeah. Get rid of this ghost in my office. All right, now let's burn some sage. All right, how's yours looking? It's all right. How's yours? Uh, mine's good. Nice. Now the next step is to smoke this. Do we smoke it or just burn it? Are you supposed to inhale it? I don't know. I think I'm getting high from this. It's sage, dude. Remember our intentions. Yep. <laughs> Ghost, please leave. Get out of here. Let me open the door for the ghost. Ghost, if you're here, please leave Jason's home. I think we got it. I think we did it. Nice job, dude. Yeah. Um, I think I have enough to make a video out of this. <laughs> this is fucking stupid, dude. See you later, Jason. All right, man. Thanks a lot, Eric. All right, bye, dude. Time. You called them dumb and you bought <laughs> forty dollars worth of rocks. <laughs> <laughs>